teacher Jenna. I wanted to show you a video of what I do working for VIP Kid. I get a ton of questions from people. What in the world do you do and who are you teaching and what is this stuff? You know, there's a lot of these companies out there and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience working for VIP Kid. VIP Kid is an online ESL company that teaches English to Chinese children. So I teach English to Chinese kids um, starting from four years old up until 12, 13 or so. What is required for VIP Kid? Well, to teach for VIP Kid, you have to be an American or a Canadian native English speaker. And you have to have a bachelor's degree. Those are the two main requirements. A teaching experience is not required, although it is preferred, but you can get around that by saying you teach at church or something like that. They don't care. So um, as long as you have a bachelor's degree, you can apply. Uh, the classes are 25 minutes each. You are paid per class and not by hour, but per class. You get approximately 10 to $12 ish a class. Do you have to speak Chinese? No, you don't. It is immersive English, so they only hear English. You do not have to speak Chinese, although it does help. Hello, ni hao. Ni jiao shi ma mei zu. Wo jiao dino. Oh, hello dino. I'm teacher Jenna. Wo jiao Jenna lao shi. Okay, the million dollar question that everyone asks me is how much do you get paid? Okay, VIP Kid pays approximately $20 to $22 an hour, and that depends on if the students book you less than 24 hours, notice you get paid more or more. They also have incentives every month. If there's a holiday, any kind of American holiday, if you work, you can get paid $50 more, $60 more, sometimes even $100 more that month for just working the extra holidays. Okay, is it the same as teaching in a regular classroom? No. No, it is not. Teaching online is much different because first, you're staring at yourself the whole time on a camera and you're teaching just one student. Um, because you're teaching one student who speaks probably a little English, very little, you have to be extremely animated. They call this TPR. This is my face. Oh, Leah Ann, hold up, Leah Ann, my face. Oh, Dino's face. This is Dino. Hello, Dino. Say hello. Ni hao. Hello. Oh, what's this? Ooh, Dino's hair. Dino the Tofa. Hair. You don't do this in a classroom, you just talk normal. <laughs> In a VIP kid class, you are extremely animated and you use props and dolls to show the children whatever you're trying to teach. So, rice! This is rice! Watch mm, me fun! Rice! Great job! High five! Pew, pew, pew. You do a lot of this. A lot of very animated, over-the-top teaching and talking. And it's really weird at first because it's not how you normally talk. Oh, Dino, what is this? It's a bird! Bird! Yay! <laughs> you get the point. Now, 
students are usually four or five years old and they have absolutely no English at all or a little bit of English speaking abilities. You really don't know until you get these students. It's a lot of repeating back and forth. My name is Jenna. My name is Jenna. <gasps> Fingers. Fingers. It's a lot of animation. It is a lot of over the top to teach these little ones to, and to keep their interest for a full 25 minutes. So here are some clips of some of my favorite level one students. Good. Ready, go. I'm fine. I'm good. It's a dog. 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 What's this? Monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, monkey, can you? Where's monkey? <gasps> monkey! Monkey! It's a monkey! Monkey! Yay! Up, up. Up, up, up. up. Good. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 down. Good job, Irene. Okay, you get a star. Oh, it's a heart. Stand up, stand up, sit down, sit down, good, stand up, can you stand up, stand up, I'm fine, how are you? Good. 
Is this your friend? No. Or your sister? This is Meg. Meg. Hello, Meg. Hello. Meg and Mike in Egypt. Egypt. Okay, when you do a good job, we will decorate a tree. This is a Christmas tree. Okay. So this is a tree. This is a tree. A Christmas tree. This is a tree. Yeah. Hello. Come in. Come in. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Good job. Sit down. Good job. Say hi, good job. Say hi, hi, hi. Say hi, hi, hi. Very good. Okay. Hello. Where's Mike? Good. Good job. Okay. Small A. A. Good. What's this? Oh, stop. Stop. Oh, no. What's this? It. Oh, is that a heart? Oh, it's Mickey Mouse. Wow. I have some too. Let's see. Hold on one minute. usually have a little bit more of a background in English. They are often six or seven or eight years old and they can form basic sentences like, my name is Dino. How are you? I'm happy. They can say a few things like mom and dad and they're learning basic sentence structures and verb conjugations at this Sun. level. Sun. The sun. Can you read? The sun is yellow. Good. What color is the sky? Sky. Good. The. The. 
Good. The sky is blue. So pretty. Hmm. What can you see? I can see the sun. Ooh, I can see the. What's this? Uh, good. What do you see? Level three students are usually older. They're usually eight or nine years old, sometimes 10, 11, 12 years old. You occasionally get a younger level three, but a level three student can read a basic paragraph on the screen. They can fill in the blank with the correct um, verb conjugation, and they can generally answer a good bit of questions like, what color is it? What is this? What did you do today? Uh, what do you see? They can normally name a lot of things and these are probably my favorite because you really don't have to be as over the top with these older students. It's more having a basic conversation. You're just speaking slow for them to truly understand. Oh. How are you, Anna? Are you happy today? No? How are you? Um, you're good. Okay, good. What did you do today? I don't know. You don't know? Did you go to the park today? No. No. I want to play. I want to play this. Dino. A lot of dino. I, and I choose one dino. And and let's see how many money we have. Okay, we will play. Let's I like to play. Let's, like let's to see. Play. You can choose one for you. One. So four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see. Homebound. Ooh, homebound. Homebound for Anna. Ooh. You get 100. Wow. <gasps> no. Okay, next time. Did you get homebound? For Chinese New Year, did you get home bell? Yes. I want to shoot the star for you, please. Star the star for, for me. Okay, one star for me, and then it's time to read. I don't want a star. star. You need the star. <gasps> Only one dollar. <laughs> Dino is crying. Hmm. Okay. Do you have a paper to write? Do you have a paper? I have this. Do you want me to write or will you write? I write. Okay. I don't have a marker today. Oh. Hmm. Oh, here's one for you. I know, I know. Where's mine? Here. I can give you this pen. I can put it on an airplane and fly to China. Yeah. And it will fly to iPhone. you. Look at iPhone. Oh, wow. Anna, you can draw very well. That's beautiful. And look I at this. I cannot draw very well. Oh, my ears fell. This is 
what I draw. I draw like this. Look at the little tiny. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's read this. Eleven, eleven, E L E V E N. Twelve. Twelve. Well, I'm very sad, like a baby. Oh no! Why are you picking up? Okay, let's look at this. Which is more? Ninety. Ninety or seventy? Which is more? Ninety. Yay! Ninety is more than seventy. Okay, 90. which is less? One hundred or twenty? Twenty. Good. Very good job. Hmm. More or less? Seventy-one. Is more or less? Very good. Yay. Oh. I can show you a this is a picture of my family. Wow. There are four children. This was Halloween. Halloween, we dress up and get candy. <clears throat> they you say trick or treat. Four children. <laughs> yes. Children. Yes. Okay, level four, five, six, seven, and on up students are your most advanced and they are able to just read and read and read. It's normally an entire page of text that they're reading and you are just correcting their pronunciation. Basically, that's it. And it'll be really uncommon things that like Ferris will merry-go-round, you know, caves, just things that they probably have not heard in their traditional classroom exposure to English. And these are really good classes, although there's not as many of these students as there are level ones and twos. There are a ton of level one and two kids who book your schedule. But the good thing is you get to choose whatever levels you want to teach. You certify for one, two, three, four, and five separately. And after you pass the demo for these, you can teach as many of levels or as few levels. As Thank you for watching. Say hi. <laughs> if you have any more questions, just ask. Bye. Sai Jin.